Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today, we continue our How to Play the Division series with an odd one, Moskaya Grupa Bakhtina of the Soviets. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more SD2 content. If you really enjoy or you want coaching, please support me on Patreon. It really helps me out a ton. Let's dive right in. So here we are with Group Moskaya. This is an odd one, to be honest with you, but I'm currently on the search for some oddball divisions that I can fall in love with, despite their, their rank or what other people think about them. Um, you all know I love my Romanian divisions a lot, and but they're you know people consider them generally okay. Uh, I don't think most people think this one's very good, but what attracts me to this division is, of course, that beautiful infantry tab. Ooh, makes the heart swoon right there. So let's go over the brief strengths and weaknesses of this deck. Uh, of course, what I just mentioned, the infantry tab is a beauty. It's so beautiful. It's such a gorgeous infantry tab. I love everything about it. I wish every division had infantry like this, and I'd really like all, I'd like every division. Uh, the recon tab is absolutely just a chad. It's so good. There's so many options here. It's such a great infantry tab. Beyond that, the AT tab is definitely very serviceable. This too, if I had to have a Soviet AT weapon, this would be the one. So that's definitely manageable. And the air tab is an absolute beast as well. Beyond that, the artillery tab really kind of blows, except for one singular unit, which is absolutely beyond fantastic. The AA tab is underwhelming, but it definitely gets the job done. Like, you don't need more than what you got here. Uh, so there's not actually anything to complain about in the AA tab. It's just not overwhelming. The support tab is very sad. It makes me very sad. There's very little to work with. And, the, of course, the most depressing part of this whole deck is the single card tank tab. So, yeah, there are some very significant weaknesses in this deck and then tried to be balanced out with some really big strengths. So it's it's one of those kind of divisions. And usually these divisions are not very good because the weaknesses, the strengths don't make up the weaknesses. I would say in general, division-wise, having certain tabs really strong doesn't generally make up for having tabs that are super weak. It just doesn't, it, it doesn't make up for missing an entire section of your division. But let's dive in here. So, so many options here. Like you just, you get, every option uh the the moskaya are like the I, I believe naval troops i'm pretty sure i'm correct about this the naval troops they come in the earlier phases and then basically your strelki division like comes later is essentially how it works so there's a whole lot of phase locked units here uh most of the phase locked ones though you wouldn't want anyway not over the other options you have so let's get into this the uh uh cherny Bushilita, uh, Bushilati, excuse me, I will do my best here. 25 points, 13 man squad, 3 PPSHs, 8 SVTs, a DP28, and a PTRD. These guys are fantastic. That is a beefy squad for 25 points. Uh, having semi automatic rifles with the machine, I mean, that's just all around great. It's hard not to love. Heart, heart, heart. They have to come in one vet, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I would probably say the strongest uh, line unit in the game, uh, not in the game, excuse me, in this division, the Moskaya Pakota DPs. They have uh, MP49, Monza Nagant, uh, PTRD, and two DP28s, also a 13-man squad. Very solid. I mean, you can, it's definitely a toss-up here. This, the, the DPs have the two, two light machine guns, but then the other squad gets the semi-automatics, I really comes down to the DPs do more at range. They have a stronger, like long range, 500 meters plus kind of thing, or, you know, three, uh, 100 meters plus. And the Cherneys are definitely stronger close range because you have three PPSHs instead of one MP40. So I, that's why I'm taking one of each because they kind of fill two different roles. Um, they're both line units, but one definitely favors a closer bit of combat and one definitely favors a longer bit. Then, of course, a little. Uh, leader here. This is a really good one though because it has seven health, so it definitely lasts a long time. No radio though, so not that there's much that can use radio anyway. The Moskaya Sapari, very solid pioneer group here. Four PPSHs, two MP46 Mosin Nagant, and your TNT 12 man squad. This can actually like brawl in the woods. It, it can take out two others because it will not die from a TNT, and if you don't get it surrendered, you can basically have this guy go up against two other pioneer squads and, and survive, basically, or Sapari or whatever. Then one of the highlight squads of this deck, the Moskaya Avtos, with one of the strongest submachine guns in the game, the Thompson. This thing, I mean, it, oh my god, it's so much damage. It just pours out damage. They're pretty fun to use. 
Now, they will not win against, like, a dedicated flamer unit. Uh, and, of course, they'll die to TNT and stuff, which is why these units are generally not that popular, because they do not outfight the other CQC infantry. You know, TNT or grenades will blow this guy right up, and flamers will keep this guy moving so much. If the flamer squad is big enough, it, they will generally win. Although, against, like, the the five, the six-man Sturm Pioneer squads, these will generally win. But, I mean, against anything else, these absolutely melt. They're very fun to use. Into B phase, I'm bringing in a squad of Oznaz here with a PPS-43, a uh, three semi-automatic rifles, and the bazooka. These guys have radio, which is neat, and the radar trait. 20 points. These are basically for this. You're, you're buying them for the for the bazooka. That they aren't they aren't for fighting. They're for killing tanks and other such stuff. Um, very good at that. Having bazookas is, is really helpful, and it, it makes up a weakness that a lot of other Soviet divisions have, where their close range AT on their infantry kind of sucks. This one though definitely helps close that gap. I'd love to have one in A, but there's really not a spot for him, and you can survive until B. Moskaya uh, Sturms here, really good. Six-man double flamer squad with four MP40s. These guys are excellent. Uh, I mean, because they have two flamethrowers instead of one. And any time, that's much better. So, awesome. Then I'm taking two cards of Strafniki, which you can now vet to one vet, which I strongly suggest you do. Although having 12 is great. I don't think you need that many. So, this is 18 Strafniki, one of the strongest infantry units in the game at 35 points. A 20-man squad, 3 PFP SH, 13 Mosin Nagans, 3 DP 28s, and a PTRD. This will win at range against most things because of that triple light machine guns. It is really hard to outfire, even against units with way better machine guns like Panzer Grenadiers and stuff with two MG42s. Having three machine guns outdoes two machine guns every time so these guys really really strong of course you should take both cards wherever you're going to put them and then finally a c card of moskaya pakota dps for the double machine gun uh the other options here this, this moskaya pakota is really underwhelming compared to the others it has no machine gun so that's why i don't take him uh there's just another card of osnaz here the stralky dp uh, svt are fine but honestly they're weaker version of this when it really comes down to it, they're just a worse version of this. So unless you really, I mean, they're, I guess they're five points cheaper and they have a grenade instead of a rifle, like anti-tank rifle. Uh, I still like the Cherneys better. I, I just think they're better. Avtos are not very good. Uh, there's another card of these if you wanted them. Sapity are fine, but you can't bring them in till B. Uh, I don't think they outfight any of the units I have in B. So, Strelke DP, you can only get them in C, and I would much prefer these guys. They're much better. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the infantry choices. Awesome, awesome infantry tab. Recon tab, also another fabulous thing here. We have one of the best uh, sniper squads in the game here. Uh, actually, this is one of the best sniper squads in the game here. Uh, really strong. You get the SVT-40 plus an MG-42, six-man with radio and recon here. Super great. I mean, so much fun to use because uh, you get that double. At 750, they actually can suppress really well. And, of course, it's the uh, semi-automatic sniper rifle. Then we have the Osnaz Snapberry here. Uh, just a, It's a four-man sniper squad with a regular uh, bolt-action rifle. And at double vet, they never miss, apparently. So, yeah, really good. Bring them in. Um, BA-10, you can only bring it in B. I, I thought having 12 was a little unnecessary, so I, I prefer they perform a little bit better, though I do not usually vet BA-10s, but that's also because usually I bring them in A, so they get a lot less of them. Uh, another card of the Osnaz VMF is here, the awesome snipers, then a card of Razvedka for more bazooka fun, and a card of Razvedka and C for more bazooka fun. I would bring them in A, but you can't, so that's the only reason they're not in A. Other options over here, the, the snapper are fine, uh, but you, know, you get six and a it's not bad in the super fast four gpas that go 100 kilometers um i don't hate these recon squads with tnt because the opponent doesn't know where they are and then they run into them in the forest and they basically can like suicide wipe out any infantry squad so I mean, it's an option but there's so many other good options regular snipers i'm not really worth it you got three cards of snipers already uh s uh, the uh, moskaya Razvedka, they're fine. I mean, they're solid. They're a 12 man squad. They have no machine gun or anything. They got a couple of submachine guns. Uh, it's not It's not a bad squad. I would not judge anyone for using these. I just, there's so many other options. Uh, maybe instead of Razvedka, like regular, 
You get four more guys, but you don't get a bazooka, and the bazooka is why you take Razvek, at least in my opinion. Uh, SU-57, solid solid vehicle, but I don't need another one on top of the VA-10, which is why I'm not taking it. So, or Maybe you do, though, because there's really not many vehicles. Then, the biggest tab here, the this, this tab, tank, T-34, take it. I'm not vetting it because this is all I get, so I'm just going to go unvetted and deal. So, yep. <laughs> Simple. Uh, yeah, support tab. Another really weak tab here. Maxims, commander, supply. These guys are completely redundant. I don't... Is there... Yeah, there's no... There's no disheartened troops, so I don't even know why these are here. There's nothing to use them on. Uh, the 4 GPA snap is 20 points for 5,000 supply, or you double that for 40 points of... It, it's exactly the same at the end of the day. Uh, I just prefer this. I just take the snap. I just take the Studebaker just out of habit. This is probably better because it actually breaks up your supply, so there's less chance that, like, you lose two of them. So I, I guess technically I should probably be using these because you can, like, split them up a little bit better. Uh, the only other options here really are probably this 50 millimeter beam mortar. Uh, it is quite good. If you can micro it, then it is great. I don't ever micro it as well as I should. So that's why I don't take them. Uh, this thing's not very good. It's not the one with the, it's not the OBS with the heat shell. So yeah, really underwhelming support and you have no 2000 meter stuff. So that makes it really hard. AT tab, really solid taking PTRS is here in a, cause of the rush is always great. Oh, I got to fix this. I left this guy in, in, in a stupid vehicle and there we go. Now it's fixed. Uh, six as, uh, this twos in a and B and then this really fun VZ odd, uh, VZVOD, PTR, where you get triple PTRDs, you get a little RPG grenade. These are more just for fun. I, I should honestly... Well, no, you can't even bring in ZIS 3s until C, which is probably why I didn't. Same thing with the 45 mils. Otherwise, I would have brought these in. But you can only bring in ZIS 2s, which if I have to bring in one of these, I mean, this is definitely the preferred one. Just remember to turn off the APCR shell. It, it's really not... The 120 will kill most things just fine. The APCR is not terribly necessary. Although it's really short range anyway. Uh, you know, you... That's really short range. Normally, it's like 1250 or 1500. So, eh, what are you gonna do? Anti-air tabs. Uh, nothing impressive, but it does get the job done. Instead of I, so you can't take the 37 still B, which is why I didn't, and that's why you kind of need this in A. And they they added this recently. I don't think this was here before, which is why this division was like basically unplayable. Now you have these. These are really good. The 25 mils are honestly really really solid. So I'm just bringing the vetted card in because once I get to B, I'm gonna be bringing these in instead anyway. So. I would not judge anyone, though, for bringing them unvetted. That's perfectly reasonable. Artillery tab. Big, but useless. Except for two things. This, the best off-map in the game. 132 millimeter riverboat. 512 shells here. This is like... Like, it just barfs on a part of the field. It actually kills stuff. Like, usually off-map's not really, like, killing stuff for the most part. This kills things. Uh, so if you drop it in a good place, it's literally just going to cover a circle of the map in craters. It's pretty freaking nuts. If you have never seen this thing in action, play this division just to see it happen. It's so much fun. Uh, yeah. Great thing. I'm bringing in B because I want to. They get one charge. One charge only. And that's it's perfectly reasonable that they only get one charge because it's absolutely ridiculous. So... I bring him in B to have two of them because I don't want just one. Bring in 82 mil mortars because gotta have something. Everything else here is pretty useless. The 180, excuse me, sorry. The 180 is solid. It's not great. You can't bring it till B though. I hate off map. The only reason I'm taking this because it's just so ridiculous. It you can't not take this thing, but I don't feel the need to take this one. Um, I the, the only thing I, the only howitzer I'd even consider is this F22 because it's got some radio and your Oznas and stuff have radio so like it'll get the job done like it's not it's not good artillery but it's something so maybe that's the choice maybe I should be taking that instead of the mortar uh, maybe but anyway continuing on air tab awesome selection of air choices here Unfortunately, the weak part, though, is you only have one fighter to choose from. And it's this one right here, the Lag 3-4. It's not that good of a, of a fighter. It really is. It's got bad resilience. It's pretty slow. Its loadout is not fabulous. So this it's a this is a rough this is a rough thing to have to work with. It gets it does it, but it's, it's only 85 points. It, it's rough to have. So 
not great. Taking the Spitfire, though, this can get the job done. It's a, it's a Spitfire. It's got 600 kilometer of speed, so you, you can very realistic. You only get one, but you can very realistically keep this alive the whole game. That's not outside of the realm of possibility in any way. Um, one thing to note, though, it's got very low ammunition. So, like, it can shoot down, like, a, an enemy plane, but just one. Because then you're down to these... You don't even get many of these bullets. Like, so it really can only shoot down, like, one thing. Be aware. Uh, I'm I'm playing with the A20ZH Zukov. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a lot of 40 mils... Uh, tw not 40 mils, excuse me. 20 mils shooting stuff. It, it, it does a pretty good job. I don't hate it. It's pretty fun to use. Unfortunately, you don't get many, though. And, it, so, and it's very good resilient, so it definitely can survive and, like, get in there. Uh, moves relatively fast. It's a solid ground attack plane. Like, a lot of these aren't good, but this one's pretty solid. IL-2 M3, it's your usual IL-2. Very good. It kills stuff. Whenever you drop bombs at 250s, two of them, they kill things. So I'm taking the big one. You get three. It's really good. Uh, I had the PA-2, the eight rockets. So there's two versions here. The only difference is the 115 has smaller rockets, but more of them, and the bigger one has less rockets, but they're bigger. Um, and availability is also the big difference. So I, I took the smaller one for the availability bonus, um, and this is actually more for killing like light things, like armor cars, light tanks, things like that. It doesn't generally kill a medium tank in one hit. You need two runs which can be really frustrating. But it's really helpful because even with six ZIS-2s, it's really hard to, like, counter the light tank spam or armored car spam. This thing does help with that a lot. Uh, it's It's got very good resilience. They're very hard to kill unless a fighter gets on their tail. The, an AA generally won't really shoot it down because it goes really fast and it's got very good resilience. So it, it's, it's a good... In terms of rocket planes, AT rocket planes, this one's one of the better ones. BFA is taking A20C Boston. These are really good because they're quite quick and they fly really high altitude, so they generally get their bombs off every time. And finally, an IL-2 with the cluster. This is for actual tank killing. This does get the job down pretty consistently. I would not judge anyone for just bringing another IL-2 and A, though, instead of the rocket plane or bringing in the heavier rocket plane. I mean, maybe that's better, but I thought, I thought the math worked out that the lighter one with more rockets is better. Basically, more rockets, no matter what the the caliber is, is just better than less rockets. So that's the thing. If I'm wrong, let me know. So that's how I have Group Moskaya built. This is a fun deck to play, but it is definitely a hard deck to play because there's a lot of weaknesses about it. You really got to be able to work around your opponent's armor contingent and their arm armor cars and all that kind of stuff. And the fact you basically don't have artillery for the most part. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day.